It's intriguing that digital technology stemming from the industrial and later technological revolutions, revolutions that privilege standardization, mass production and consumption, and automation, is being appropriated by teens, students, theorists, and grandparents, essentially anybody with access to the internet, as a medium for carving a unique voice into digital spaces. Traditionally, such utterances, especially through the process of writing, have been perceived as a solitary and somewhat isolated activity, an activity which buries the erection of meaning and the scaffolding of the writing experience. What's often revealed is only the finished production, the roof of the structure, the topos, on which consequent arguments, as Sarah Arroyo notes, are then incrementally built upon. Writing, however, can no longer be viewed and has never been inscriptions of syllabic truths in static spaces. The new media landscape is shifting this ground and with it asking us to redefine our understanding and performances of writing. This seismic shift has given rise to what Andrea Lunsford terms our vocabulary problem, our need, she writes, to define writing in a way that does not mirror the reductiveness of current dictionary definitions, and to capture the sense of writing as epistemic, performative, multivocal, multimodal, and multimediated. What I would also stress is an awareness of the very visible traces which these writing acts produce, traces which, unlike in traditional writing, can be prolifically reappropriated, reused, and remixed at breakneck speeds in the digital realm. While the larger collective discussion of the role of technology in classrooms is stuck in a binary playback of good or bad, of whether we should embrace laptops, cell phones, the internet, etc., to usher in the digital age, or whether we should restrict its use and expel it from classrooms in an attempt to capture the distracted attention of the increasingly multitasking students who populate our academic institutions, what have been termed digital natives are diving further and deeper into the electorate ecology. An English instructor's role, and thus my role in our society, I believe, is ultimately to challenge a student to refine and sharpen this voice, to prepare the student to fluently formulate multifaceted performances of enunciations to various audiences, to experiment with novel mediums as catalysts of meaning, and to do so as subjects who are aware of the context from which this voice speaks.